so a bit of a speed run of an episode today. I just wanted to talk about this quickly because I'm going to do it now. It's like sort of late on on Bank Holiday Monday. Just want to get this done before the week starts. Basically, I've got this tripod. I really love the base of it, but I hate the top of it. Absolutely hate the top of it. It's like a piss. It's like a pistol grip and it's got like this weird proprietary head on it that doesn't match any of my Manfrotto heads or any of my Arca Swiss heads. So what I want to do, basically I've just taken it apart. And I'm going to add an Arca Swiss ball head to it. And basically all I'm going to do is epoxy it on. I've taken this off. It's got like a sort of weird spigot coming out the top that doesn't seem to be any kind of thread that you'd recognize as a photography thread. So that's kind of annoying. It'd be great if I could just put a ball head straight on it, but I guess you, they don't want you to do that. But as I said, I really love the legs. And this goes towards talking about photography gear. I think there's this kind of misconception that you need, if you're gonna do photography professionally, you need professional gear. And to an extent that is completely true. And there's sometimes, you shouldn't cheap out on stuff. But there's times when I'm recording these videos where I just need a second tripod or when I'm going out doing B-roll and I just want to take the lightest possible setup. But I don't wanna to have to switch out this, the Arca Swiss um, quick plates. I don't wanna to have to take the really big heavy tripod. And so something like this is great. My slider, I made that myself. I thought I'd make one myself, see if I use it. And then if I use it, I'll buy one. I made it, I use it all the time. I've not had the need to buy one. It works perfectly. I've tried some up to the kind of 200 pound range and then no better. There's other things that are kind of hacked together in my gear that actually work better than the real thing, especially for the price. Something like the shower curtain. I've mentioned it before. This one's a little bit opaque, but it's, it's this is one of the cheapest ones you can get. Great as diffusion. I'm gonna try and show you more things because there's a couple of really interesting DIY camera projects that I want to put together. I'm gonna be doing more of those in the future. I probably should film them because DIY camera projects it all goes together, doesn't it? Saving money. I think it could be really interesting. I'm gonna put this together now. Five minute epoxy, should be done pretty soon. Doesn't mean I'm gonna to have to order a new ball head though. Because I'm gonna epoxy it to this, I won't be able to take it off. Meh, what are you gonna do? I like having the ball head. I use the ball head for photography and I've got a, I've got a fluid head that I use for video stuff, which obviously makes a lot of sense. Right, let's do this. This must be the first time I've used my camera as a weight to glue something down. 
So I left this overnight for the epoxy to set up. It's called five minute epoxy, but give it some time to cure. It'll be stronger. It seems really sturdy. I'm happy with how like straight it's on. It's turned out really well. It's turned out much better than I expected. I actually started taking this part a while ago. And as soon as I found that dodgy little spigot in there that didn't have any like correct threads on it, I thought I'm gonna leave this. So this has been out of action for a while. It's actually had no head on it. So it's good to get it back in, back in action. I really love how small it folds up and it's a super cheap tripod. They do, they did start making a ball version. They did start making a ball version after I bought this one, uh, but this was like the pistol grip one. Um, the ball head does add some weight to it, but it's still pretty compact and the legs don't weigh much. So that's good. I'm gonna go and take some photos now with this, see if it works out. I'm sure it will, it's just a tripod, like it's not gonna change much, is it? One thing with this guy is I try not to extend the last, the last legs because the, it gets pretty wobbly at that point. But yeah, let's go shoot some footage.